the urinary system by talking about micturition and the micturition reflex. So what is micturition? It's a big fancy word for urination. So just kind of a fun fact that I learned, it takes most mammals 20 seconds to urinate regardless of how much they're urinating. Don't know who had to figure that out, but somebody did. Um, Yay for them, I guess. All right, so how does this work? Pretty straightforward. Urine fills the bladder, stretches out its walls. The stretch receptors send a signal along an afferent neuron to the spinal cord. This activates some parasympathetic fibers that cause um, something called the detrusor muscle to contract and your internal sphincter to relax. All right. You've also got interneurons. Remember, interneurons basically are the connection between two other neurons. They let your spinal cord and your pons, part of your brain, know that you've got a full bladder and that it's time to pee. And so if it's appropriate or you decide, yep, I want to go pee, then the cerebral cortex tells the external sphincter, time to relax. Okay, so there is a voluntary and involuntary component to this. All right, so let's go through this just with a different diagram. <clears throat> so you've got an internal and an external sphincter. So with the micturition reflex, the, it's involuntary and mediated by the parasympathetic nervous system. Remember, parasympathetic nervous system, you have no control over. Urine fills the bladder, stretches its walls out. These stretch receptors send a signal to the spinal cord. The parasympathetic nervous system, um, here's our stretch receptors. There's our afferent, there's our efferent. So we cause the detrusor muscle to contract and our internal sphincter to relax. Okay. If you decide, yep, I want to take, I want to, I want to urinate, then signal comes from your cerebral cortex and you relax your external sphincter. Okay. That's micturition. So there's an involuntary and a voluntary component. And so you have control, conscious control over your external sphincter. So here we've got just a flow chart that shows this. So same thing, just a different way to look at it. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is this part right here. This is the voluntary. So I'm going to put V and then over here, this is the involuntary. Okay. So basically the contraction of that detrusor muscle and the relaxation of the internal sphincter, that's involuntary. The relax relaxation of the external sphincter, that is the voluntary.